I'm Bruce Rosenbaum, steampunk reimagineer of Modvik, and today we're at my home, gallery, and workshop, uh, Steampunk Wonderland in Palmer, Massachusetts. I had wanted to, you know, really have a space uh, in, in Steampunk Wonderland that was um, a steampunk bar, you know, somewhere where people could gather and uh, talk and enjoy, you know, their drinks. And so uh, I said, okay, well, you know, it would be interesting uh, to have a, like a quarantine bar. So that was kind of, you know, the inspiration uh, as part of um, our time, you know, trying to be creative uh, during COVID. So I had uh, already this kind of fireplace insert and uh, thought it would be kind of a, a, a great um, way to uh, structure uh, a back bar and they normally this opens up and you know you have your fire in there but now it's just kind of a empty space uh, that I can use for uh, a cooler so um, iced drinks beer whatever uh, can be in there and, and can be served on top of the bar here uh, I wanted to have a unique way to deliver um, the liquor or the alcohol uh, and I was testing around uh, with a few different uh, ways to be able to do that and I love the idea of being able to take an upside down bottle and kind of uh, have it ready to, de to deliver uh, liquor in an interesting way but the physics of delivering alcohol in a bottle upside down is a little bit challenging because uh, the way that that works is that there is a vacuum that's created uh, in a bottle when it's upside down and uh, that stops the liquid from c uh, coming out. So, uh, so we had to create a system where there is a tube that's going into the bottle uh, as you're trying to get liquid out. And using these, uh, these are actually explosion proof lights that came out of a factory kind of as the head. Um, and then we have the bottle, and then uh, a tube inside, and then a tube coming out uh, into this, into the light. Of course, the electricity and the liquid are separated, so we don't get those mixing, because that wouldn't be uh, uh, good. Uh, and then we have uh, a lever here that we can push forward, and the liquid um, uh, comes out so you can fill a, a glass. So this um, kind of going through that invention process uh, really now gives me a, a great uh, process or way to now uh, sell this to bars and hotels that are interested in creating kind of a unique uh, performance art uh, as part of um, what they're doing uh, in their bars. So, uh, and then I've created a whole kind of uh, background here with uh, Sight is Priceless. This is an optometrist sign uh, that I repurposed uh, for this. Uh, that little um, uh, glass drip in, in the center uh, is coming out of a, um, a garden faucet. So it kind of everything has a connection to uh, the objects that I'm using. Uh, and if you step away from this kind of and look, look at the bar in total, uh, you, you see a face and uh, I see faces as we all do, you know, everywhere. So I, I, I like to kind of um, work with that in terms of when I'm uh, doing my steampunk art and design. The front bar was actually a really fun project. This was, um, this is live edged wood, you know, just kind of a rough piece of wood that I was able to refinish and varnish. Um, these legs, this leg is actually an industrial pedal leg that was on a piece of uh, machinery. And then over here, um, this was a, uh, a gold leaf stamper for suitcases. And this has um, an incredible kind of uh, architectural design to it. There's a big kind of C shape here. And the reason why it's shaped like this is because when you would put the suitcase uh, into the slot here, so you, you would put your, your initials, so you know, to personalize your suitcase, um, you would put the, the, initial, the, uh, the type set in here and the gold leaf, and then you press down. And then uh, that would press the, your initials into the suitcase, but the bottom part of the suitcase 
uh, which would be folded like this, would go into that C, C space to kind of give you uh, easy uh, access. So this became part of the leg of the, of the front bar. And then as kind of an added uh, design here, uh, I love, um, I'm inspired by Da Vinci and his designs and his, you know, uh, uh, his drawings. Uh, this, uh, this is a, you know, corkscrew guy, an early one, brass one, and uh, it kind of looks like Da Vinci's uh, Vitruvian Man. So I kind of have him uh, sitting here uh, ready to be used. And then down here, uh, I also, uh, this is a, a foundry mold or a foundry pattern, uh, and actually a foundry mold for our pneumatic tube receiver. Uh, and it's been converted into a, a little bit of a wine holder. Um, these pieces over here on the ends, they're actually one uh, rudd water heater cut in half. So this uh, is the back half and then this one is the front half. And this became the perfect opportunity for a liquor cabinet. And, um, and it's lit inside. Well, I found these online. These are martini glasses that um, look like lab glass with kind of the, uh, the strange liquid inside. And so these are, uh, are wonderful serving uh, glasses along with other types of uh, fun glasses. Uh, again, more lab glass based. These are, you know, kind of look like beakers uh, and you know exactly how much liquor you're consuming with, uh, with the amounts. Inside this is a, a rocket shaped uh, cocktail mixer, shaker. Uh, and then down here is, uh, uh, is a wine, uh, again, a wine holder. And you can just see how beautiful design this is. Um, I mean, th this went into someone's basement, <laughs> you know, and it's just beautifully designed. Um, and the Victorians really, when they were designing and, and making these objects, uh, they were really um, it was really important for them. Uh, they took pride in craftsmanship and quality and durability. And it was almost like, you know, even if not a lot of people were going to be seeing this, you know, God would be seeing it. And so uh, they took pride in what they made and designed. And that's why it's around 100 plus years later because, you know, we're seeing this as, um, as something that we want to preserve, that we want to bring forward. And um, I'm hoping that my designs also will you know, bring these objects into the future 50, 100 years to be adapted again. Mm -hmm.